Okay, we're going to talk about expressions. Remember, expressions cannot be solved. We can model them, but we cannot solve them. You can simplify them. I can combine like terms, but again, I cannot solve for x in an expression because there's no equal sign for me to have an equivalent expression to solve it. But we do need to know how to model them because eventually we're going to solve problems um, using the algebra tiles with two equivalent expressions. So first, let's just talk about what each thing represents. These are my variables, okay? That is um, a positive x or y or whatever we want to call that variable, whatever letter we want to use, it's a positive. And this is a negative x or a negative d, whatever you're using. Then you have our constants, which means it's just our regular number. That is 1, positive 1. That's always worth the same amount. That's always worth positive 1. This is always worth negative 1. Now that we know that, let's model some of these. Okay, if I have negative 3x, that means I want three groups of negative x or negative three groups of x, okay? So how many x's do I have? I have negative three x's, right? So that's negative three x, okay? What if I said, negative 3x plus 2. That means it would look like this. Negative 3x plus 2 means I'm going to have two positives. So this would be negative 3x plus 2. Okay, let's do another one. 2x plus 1. Well, I have two x's, okay? So that's the same thing as saying 2 times x, because I have two groups of x, plus 1. So then I'm going to have one constant that's positive. So this would be 2x plus 1. Okay, let's do another one. x minus 5. So I know I have an x. It doesn't say it's negative, so I just have an x. And then it says minus 5. Well, we have learned that minus 5 is the same thing as saying plus 5 negatives. So to say minus 5, I'm going to put 5 negatives right there. So if I can get them out. So that would be x minus 5. Okay, now I'm going to kind of go the other way. I'm going to show you some, and I want you to be able to tell me what I am representing. What is it showing? Okay, so if I said okay, this right here, what is that showing me? I have two x's, right? So that's two x. And then I have one negative, okay, negative one. So that's 2x minus one. Or I could say 2x plus a negative one. Either one would work, but it's the same thing, 2x minus one. Okay, what if I said, what would this be showing me? Okay, well, let's think about that. I have 1x, but is it positive or negative? Negative. So that would be negative x. I don't need to say negative 1x because negative 1x and x are the same thing. And then I'll say minus 3. Could I say negative x plus a negative 3? Yes, I could. That would work as well. Okay, let me try another one. Apparently, I like the negative x's today. Okay, what would this be showing me? Well, I have 2x, but they're negative. So that's negative 2x, right? Plus, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 positives. So it's negative 2x plus 7. Okay, I wonder what it would look like 
if I said 3x minus 4, how would I show that? Well, I have three x's. They're positive because there's no negative sign in front of that x. Again, that doesn't mean that the x value is positive. I have no idea what that x is worth. And I can't solve it because I don't know what the whole expression equals. So I have three x minus four. So I'm gonna have four negatives. So that would be showing me three x minus four. Now I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna show it to you and I want you to tell me what it is. What would that say? That would be X minus four. Why would that be X minus four? because I have one X minus four. I have four negatives, okay? I do not need to write one X, okay? One X is just, okay, I've got X. Yes, that's one of them, but it's one X. So I could say X minus four or X plus a negative four. Either one would work. I hope this has helped so.